we read about in the story of 1 Samuel chapter 23 that Jonathan was able to find David in the wilderness, or rather in the wood, as they called it. And he began to encourage Jonathan began to encourage David, telling him that you don't have to fear. God has your back. My father is not going to be able to find you. His father is Saul. And you're going to be safe and you're going to be king. And I'm going to be right next to you. Right. What God teaches us in the word is that he's going to bring something or someone from somewhere even if it has to be himself to encourage you. Because God understands, although David has an army around him, is not a great host, is not a great army. And he may have a few family members, his wives, his concubines. But that means nothing to the comfort that God could give you. You've probably experienced times where God has shown you a vision where you're going to be someone great. God is going to open up a door for you. You feel as though you're filled with potential, which probably led you to leave your other job, move out of the place that you were living in, move to a different town, a different area in order to pursue your aspirations. But then you finally hit a roadblock. And the roadblock is not a way in the road. It's, it's a feeling, right? An overwhelming feeling that I don't think I could do this. So what God would do is he would, whether it's him or he brings someone else, that's why it's always good to be in the faith and be around people who are in the faith. They will encourage you. You know, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of people who are doing things that are above the norm, they always accredit someone within their life that serves God. You know, it's um, more often than not, it's a parent, right? Yeah, or an elderly person or just someone that they met one day. We never consider that that person could have been an angel. We never consider that God put that word in that person to give, right? We give credit to the individual who gave us the word. But it's God. All praise, all honor, all glory belongs to him. So, and I'm going to explain why this matters so much, because although Jonathan spoke these kind words, these words of love to David, it meant nothing unless David carries it out. You've all been in a place where you're lying in your bed and God has told you the night before about what he's preparing to do for you. But everything requires steps and steps that you have to fulfill. God teaches us that you don't have to take those steps alone, but you do have to take that first step. Businesses like this, anything, any opportunity that you're trying to go um, forward and you have to go ahead and take the first step. No one is going to know that you're the best applicant for the job if you don't first put in an application. And the problem with putting in your first application, because of the uneasiness which is within you, the lack of faith, you put in that resume, but you don't, you don't read it over, right? You don't even ask yourself if it's updated. You don't even see if the information is updated. You don't apply um, the description to your resume in order for it to fit perfectly so the reader has an easier time to differentiate you from the crowd, right? It's not that you're not capable of doing it, but the spirit, when you don't have the spirit and the motivation and the faith to do something, you do something very sloppily. And that's why a lot of people um, probably have been the time where you got an opportunity and you felt as though you didn't deserve it, right? You got so many doors slammed in your face and you were like, okay, I'm just going to go to this one last event and I'm just going to just give them the same resume and I'm not even going to dress up. I'm not going to put on my voice and, you know, put a smile in my voice. I'm just going to just be there just to say that I went. 
And for whatever reason, and you know the reason wasn't anything that you did, you got the job. Now, the next steps are your most important steps. You need to learn to thank God for that job, for that opportunity. You know, we hear it all the time. I was just in the right place and I was there at the right time and they happened to like the way I speak and the way that I walk. Are you kidding me? You know how many people are walking that same street? You know how many people could probably speak better than you? Their words could be orchestrated. There's people who have been raised in wealthy families, but all those things didn't matter when God finally prepared a way for you.